Let me tell you the important points of the Eid Salah. Before I end this talk, there are 14 important points of Eid Salah. Number one, the Eid Salah is fard for every Muslim male who is an adult and who is sane. Number two, it is offered between the time after the Fajr Salah and before the Dhor Salah. But the earlier you offer, the better it is. Number three, it should be offered in an open ground, a musalla, also known as the Eidga. Number four, that if Eid falls on a Juma, then praying Juma on that day is not fard. But it is Sunnah, it is recommended. If you pray, it is good. But if you want, you can abstain from Juma Salah. At that time, you should pray only the Zohar Salah. Next point, number five, is that there is no Adhan or no Akama before the Eid Salah. Number six, there is no Sunnah before the Eid Salah or after the Eid Salah. Number seven, the Eid Salah is of two rakah. Number eight, there are six extra takbirat in the first rakat before Surah Fatiha besides the takbirat ihram. Along with that, there are total seven takbirat in the first rakat before Surah Fatiha. In the second rakat, after you get up from the sujood in the starting of the second rakat, after seeing the takbir, there are five additional takbirat before the Surah Fatiha in the second rakat. Ninth point is that it is sunnah to recite Surah Ala in the first rakat and Surah Kasha in the second rakat. The tenth point is it is also a sunnah you can recite Surah Qaf in the first rakat and Surah Kamar in the second rakat. The twelfth is that after the each salah there is a khutbah. The thirteenth point is it is recommended that you hear the khutbah of the Imam after the Salah. But it is not a fard. It is highly recommended. And the fourteenth point is when you go for Salah from one route, see to it while coming back, you take the other route. These were the fourteen salient points of the Eid Salah. And I have covered in brief, in as short a time as possible, the importance of the first 10 days of the religion.